Hi and welcome back for part two of the Candy Babe review. We have five left out of the sample sent to me. I just want to make a quick note. Lilt has changed its name to Tilt due to copyright, I suppose. They didn't want the same name branded. But I've been assured it's still the same flavour that you all love and know. So going into it, this will be named Tilt. I'll just show you the picture. So as you can see, still the same style text and the same flavour, just a new name. So to go into the description on Tilt, a totally tropical taste it will vape lilt. It's refreshing pineapple and grape, ju uh, grape juice totally that total tropical taste. Now I was a big fan of the Lilt drinks and just for anyone who didn't see part one these were sent to me for the purpose of this review via Candy Vape. These are sample bottles. Down the side you have these are 80-20 VG PG. You have the batch number and a little description just there where it says the creator of the name of the juice and this one's by Mr. Keith Jerry or Jerry sorry if I pronounced the name wrong goes round this product contains nicotine which is a highly addictive substance this does not contain nicotine it is a zero nicotine product sent to me in a sample bottle okay if you require nicotine you can order that from online Prices go from $8.99 to $16.99 for these, and they are available in 50ml short fills and 120ml short fills. So you get 120ml of juice with your 3mg of nick, or you can have your 50mg of juice with your 3mg of nick, or without the nick, obviously. So Let's dive in. I have the Lilt, or Tilt as it's now known as, on the Endless Clean. And I've had this soaking for a little while, so it should be nice. You can certainly smell that tropical grapefruit. Not so much of the pineapple in the smell, but let's see. For me personally, I find it more of a grape so, uh, grapefruit than the pineapple take on the Lilt, which is quite a refreshing change, but still, you get the reminiscence of the Lilt pop bursting in your mouth. Really smooth, and I'm glad to see there's no added colorants in these, which means your cotton won't be dying off with different shades of colors until your coils decide they're going to die on you but these are not over sweetened these are just naturally sweetened by the flavors and ingredients added into them so moving on i have tropical dragon now when i was seeing the tropical dragon name i thought maybe dragon fruit so i've got a thing about anything that says dragon i think Sweet succulent strawberries supported by a blend of fresh tropical mangoes, ripe bananas and a twist of dragon fruit. Hey, see I got one ingredient right and I didn't read that beforehand either. So I have the tropical dragon. Quite a nice little fancy jungle green theme there going on. Really do like that. Again, these are all 80, 20 and zero milligram nicotine. And... Um, this one was made by Mr. Matt Chenna or something. I can't read his last name. It's quite fine on these small bowls. So I have this on the Endless V1. Mm, it smells quite a sweet punch sort of smell to it. Sort of getting a mix straight away on the inhale of sweet strawberries and ju juicy ripe bananas with the mango and the dragon fruit on the exhale. I 
Oh my, dragon fruit just makes your mouth water. It's really refreshing. Quite impressed with that one. Not been a big fan on some dragon fruits because some people like to make it over sweet. I like the natural sweetness to come through. And I must say, the mangoes in this aren't peely, which complements the dragon fruit and the strawberries and the ripe bananas really well. I think that could be an all day vape quite easily. So the next one, for the third one tonight, um, let's just flip over my page. We have a Refresher Chew. Now Refresher Chew, I'm sort of going by this by the name of the bottle, not what it reads in the description, so I'll read the description shortly. I'm thinking of the Refresher Chew Bars. That's what I'm hoping for. And I have that on the Endless Cleaner tonight. So Refresher Chew reads, everyone's favourite chewy bar now comes in a bite-sized piece that's tangy lemon chew with an added sherbet fizz. Let's see if it's a bitter lemon or a sweet succulent lemon like the refresher bar. You sort of get a bitter hint of the natural lemon come through without the overpowering of the sweetness like when you bite into the chew you get a sort of sickly taste. That's a refreshing lemon with a natural sweetness towards the end. And just a little hint of the sherbet fizz on the exhale. And the more it warms, the more it tastes like the sweet. If anyone's got a sweet tooth and like going back in memory lane, they love the refresher chew bars, but don't want to pile on any calories and still love them, crave that taste. Definitely recommend you trying that juice. Really love, that was refresher chew. So the fourth one we have tonight is Jury's Custard MK3, I think. Let's just flip over to that page. Yep, Jerry's Custard MK3. This is kind of a gold shiny label. Really well presented. I do like the gold on these labels. Really makes them stand out. So Jerry's Custard, delicious, thick, cream, creamy ambrosia custard. A dessert that will make you keep coming back for more. I'm a big fan of ambrosia custard. Really big. It smells like it. It's got the creamy, thick texture like Ambrosia Custard. But the only difference is you don't get that sweet blast, which is quite a nice change. Most custards I find have got that bit of added sweetness in there. Excuse that noise, that was the husband in the background. <laughs> that custard has got that creamy texture you know when you've had your hot dessert be it spotted dick jam roly poly and you've got that cool custard layer over the top it reminds me of that when you get to the last bit of your dessert and you've got the last few spoons of custard in your mouth really really pleasant babe probably one of my favourites so far next to the Tropical Dragon and Lil. But I can't say anything bad about these. They are really nice. Now the one I've been saving for last is called Holy Mint. Now if anyone knows me, they know I am a big fan of minty vapes. Now when I first cracked this open to soak it in the cotton, I got the reminiscence of the perfect polo mint combination in a vape. That sweet, minty, ref refreshing smell in the air, which makes your mouth water and think, oh, and polos. I haven't got polos, but let's see how well this compares. A well-renowned renowned, renowned minty vape might say it's like the mint with a hole in it. 
I like the mints with the hole in it, but I also like tree bore extra strong mints, so. It really does smell like a polo mint. So the holy mint. And they've even taken the little green sort of star, green and white style text, like the polo comes in. I really like that feature. So, holy mint. It smells like a polo. Reminds me of this, the peppermint polos, the original ones, and the dark blue packets. Just, sorry, just enjoying that minty taste. It's so refreshing. You get that cool inhale, like you've just crunched polo mint, and you get that cool sensation in your mouth, followed by the sweet mint hint towards the exhale and the mint lingers around in your mouth not harsh really smooth pleasant flavor literally like I've just crunched a polo mint and I'm really like this one so thank you all for watching I have loved doing the reviews for these part one and part two if you missed part one please check it out you'll find the two new flavours, which is Mama's Brownies and Daddy Doe, which I sort of couldn't make up my mind on the first part, which one I like the most, but I'm sorry, Carl. I will have to side with Stacey on this. The brownies have got my approval. I mean, it's two of my favourite desserts in one. Bra chocolate fudge brownie with mint chocolate chai for ice cream. I can't go wrong. So with that, I'll leave you and bid you a good night. Bye.